there had been more police on that corner, I don't know that any of this would have happened. A New Orleans husband and wife say they were robbed and beaten in the CBD as a crowd watched. WDSU reporter Aubrey Killian spoke to the victims about this terrifying attack. Aubrey is live on Crondelette Street with the interview that you will see only on 6. Aubrey? Well, the couple says they were attacked at the intersection of Carondelet and Common. They say there was a large group partying in the street, and that group cheered on the suspects as this terrifying event unfolded. The most prominent one, um, it looks pretty nasty. Johnson Smith and his wife, Mary Lorenz, are still recovering emotionally and physically after they were attacked in the CBD Friday night. It's bizarre. I mean, like the whole thing is still very surreal. Smith and Lorenz say they were walking to their car after celebrating a friend's birthday dinner in the French Quarter. They say the suspects came up from behind. NOPD released these pictures showing the suspects. Someone produced a pistol right here, um, pointed straight on this side of my temple. And I said, take whatever you want. They still took my wallet and then proceeded to kick us some more. While this was happening, there are at least 20 people watching, laughing, cheering. Loren says she was thrown to the ground, dragged, and her purse was stolen. It's just looking at my husband, you know, he was just, he he looks bad. He, he like I said, he got the worst of it because at some point, like he was throwing himself on top of me as he's getting kicked in the head. And I mean, I didn't, thankfully, I didn't even see the gun. Had I known, I, if I had seen the gun, I don't even know what I would have done. But um, it's just, it's scary to think how that could have ended up. The two are locals of New Orleans. They love it here. But as violent crime in the city is on the rise, they say more must be done to keep the city safe. The gun aspect of it was probably the most terrifying part of it. Um, I'm thankful that this is all I have and, and not a bullet, but I don't see how any of this is going to not start escalating. And I really think the police need to make it known to everyone how dangerous it is and that they don't have control over the CBD area right now. And the couple also says that the suspects use their credit cards. If you've got any information on this crime, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. That number, it is 822-1111. Reporting live, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News.